Hey, what's up, guys? It's RJ, and welcome back to my. <clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? It's RJ, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a three part series of bridal makeup. So, we're gonna call it Timeless, Gimme More, and Boot the Boys. So we're gonna start off with a timeless bridal look. I already have my foundation on, highlight and contour, so we're gonna go straight to the eyes. If you guys want to see how I do my foundation, I will link a card right here for you guys. Check that out and let's get started. To create this timeless beauty look, I'm going to use my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette by BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna go in with the fluffly, fluffly. I'm gonna go in with the fluffly, fluffly. The f so I'm gonna go in with the larger fluffy blending brush and dip into this taupe color. So I'm going to take this color and blend it right above my crease and then blend it up as my transition shade. So I'm placing this starting out at the outer corners and then just doing small circular motions and then working my way into the inner corners and then just doing swiping motions back and forth. And that way most of the color is dispersed on the outer corners and then you blend that in. I'm going to now dip into this color right here. Using the same fluffy blending brush, I'm going to place that into the crease area. This time instead of blending up, I'm going to blend down a little bit. One thing I like to do to clean up any harsh lines is to take my brush and the Veramona and then just knock off any leftover eyeshadow and taking that clean brush and then just going over any areas with any harsh lines and that's going to just nicely blend it out. Now taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to dip into this color right here, which is like a medium brown. And we're going to place that on the outer corners to create some dimension. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to take another blending brush. This one's a little bit more dense. Go back into that brown. Knock off the excess, back that on the outer corners. So then I'm gonna go in with a small pointed brush, dip back into the purple shade, and I'm just gonna push this into my crease to darken that. I'm going to see. And then we're gonna take those same colors and place it on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with that light taupe brown color. I'm taking this small pointed brush and I'm taking the light brown and just placing that on my bottom lash line. Then I'm taking my smaller blending brush and dip into that purple blending that underneath there and I'm taking that pointer brush again I'm dipping into the medium brown putting that in the outer corners and connecting that from the lower outer corner to the top outer corner I'm gonna take this little lip brush and I'm gonna dip into this pink shimmer right here I'm just gonna place that in the inner corners for a slight sparkle I'll take that same color and just run it a quarter of the way into the lower lash line I'm gonna take this light eyeshadow place that right in my brow bone area and then dip it to that same little pink shimmer just lightly dust that now that the eyes are done we're going to fill in my brows again we're keeping with that timeless beauty look so it's not gonna be anything crazy i'm just gonna do little relic strokes taking an angle brush and i'm gonna go into the darkest brown shade in the palette so I'm just gonna lightly put that into my brows just to fill it in. Now we're going to line the eyes. So I'm taking my Ingla Gel Liner and we're going to line the eyes. So we got one eye line. So before that dries, I'm gonna take my point of brush and I'm gonna dip into a black eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna smoke that line out. I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Perversion to tight line my eye. All right, so now I'm going to take my Ingla Pole pencil and I'm going to line my waterline and what that's gonna do is it is going to make the eyes appear larger and more open okay okay no I can't see so we're gonna throw on some blush and highlight the contour is already done so I'm gonna dip into Samsung and Delia by Kat Von D with my angle brush. I'll blush is on. Highlight real quick. We're gonna go back into the Carly Bible palette and we are going to highlight with this color right here. I'm gonna take that same highlighter and we're just gonna Pop it right up here, down the bridge of the nose and at the tip of the nose. So we're gonna take Strip by BH Cosmetics and now I'm just gonna color in my lips. So we're gonna go to the Urban Decay palette. We're gonna dip into Ex-Girlfriend, which I believe is this color. I'm 
I'm gonna grab some gloss, which I usually don't do, but it's the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And I'm gonna place that all over. Time for lashes and then we're good. I'm just gonna put on some lashes off camera and then I'll be back. I got my lashes on. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. I'm using the Urban Decay Mascara in Perversion. All right, so this is the final look for Timeless Beauty. If you guys like this look, make sure you guys give it a big fat thumbs up. If you guys have any questions on this look or the products that were used, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the next video for the Gimme More Bridal Makeup Look. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so, consider it, and until next time, deuces.